Hey everyone, so before this video gets started, we have a partnership with Weeble where when you use our link and deposit at least one cent, they're gonna send you up to 12 free stocks valued all the way up to $30,600. I use Weeble right here. It's a stock trading app and I use it to buy and sell stocks and crypto. It's a really awesome app. It's called Weeble. We have a link below. It's a legit partnership where literally all you have to do is make a deposit of at least one cent and they're gonna send you 12 free stocks valued all the way up to $30,600. So use our link below for Weeble and let's get started with the video. So the next one, guys, is this is how to submit an official Lyft or Uber deactivation appeal written by buckleup.com, which, by the way, are another video sponsor, Buckle Up. When you use our link below to sign up for a free car insurance quote, you can get 20 bucks. They're going to send you $20. That's limited time only. Mm -hmm. And they provide rideshare insurance to drivers. But anyways, they wrote this article. Well, Harry Campbell wrote it on Buckle.com, but yeah. How to submit a Lyft or Uber deactivation appeal. You want to read this? Yeah. What happens if you are deactivated from driving by Uber or Lyft? You may be confused about why it happened or how you can argue your case. Here's what to do to avoid a deactivation and how to handle it if you've been deactivated. So how do you know... So this is, these are the main issues if uh, getting deactivated. Number one. Background check issues. Number two. Documents not updated or blurry. Number three. Passengers report you. So these are the main reasons, guys, if you got blurry documents um background check issues that's a big one and then pastors reporting that's probably most common honestly is if you yeah some pastors really just want a free ride what better way to do that is to say they've had a horrible ride yeah a lot of passengers cheapskates is what we call them in our in our neck of the woods people who are trying to get a free ride you know you pay 40 50 bucks for uber now because they're so dang expensive and then pastors are like well you know you know, they're out at dinner and they're like, well, you know, that filet mignon is looking pretty nice, but I don't got 40, 50 bucks to pay for it. Well, you know, I just report my Uber driver as being a creepo. I get a refund on that, then use that money to buy filet mignon. Then I post it, flex on all everybody on Instagram, and you look like the cool cat. But who's out, who has to actually be, you know, face the consequences of that action? You get a nice filet mignon, your Uber driver gets deactivated. Hmm. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, if you've ever been deactivated, here's how to get reactivated with Uber, Lyft, and other platforms. So what do you got to do, Izzy? You want to contact the company and plead your case. Yep. You can usually do that through the app. Yeah. Or... Um, like email them or like website, Twitter. Yeah. Or yeah. Involve social media. That's what we were saying before. All these companies have like support pages on Twitter. So you should just like DM them. Bonus tip, get a dash camera. We have a link below guys to get a dash camera. Um, go check out our Amazon store. We have an Amazon link to the best dash cameras for Uber and Lyft drivers. 